All right, so with all the hullabaloo about the new Facebook pages, figured uh, we'd have a series on dealing with uh, the insights or the basically the Facebook analytics for pages. <clears throat> so we're going to take this from the scratch, and we're probably not going to get through this in one screencast, maybe two, maybe three. But uh, we're going to be taking a look at this article that Mashable wrote on uh uh, viewing insights via Facebook and we're just going to be using this as a script and we're just going to be showing you what they're talking about here so uh, please do go check out the article so uh, the first thing it says is just to go to your Facebook page and check the insights now in case you don't know how to do that you're just going to go to facebook.com and you're going to click account and you're going to say use Facebook as a page and so some of the pages here will be listed and we're just going to go down here and we're going to switch to one of these here I've got a ton of them so um, okay so now that we're here you see on the right it says view insights so there we are as view insights um, so if you look back over the Mashable article it says scenario number one are likes enough Bill's tech company lost a Facebook fan, uh, business page two months ago when he created the page Bill sent out a message to all his friends and it quickly grew to around 100 followers by the way if you're wondering how to send out a uh, message to all your followers like it's talking about we're just going to go back to the front page, we're going to go back to the page right here, and um, if it loads, and you're going to see a button down here called share. So you're just going to click share, and you would say something like, uh, yeah, I don't know if you want a big message in there. So you're just going to want to say something like, hey, guys, just launched a new business page come check it out here and then don't forget to say don't forget to put make sure actually don't use all caps it's a pet peeve of mine make sure you click the like button at the top when you visit and so that's what that's talking about. Someone just kept sending that out, hitting share, and they used multiple accounts to send that out too. So uh, back to the actual analytics portion of this. Uh, it's the first scenario says are likes enough, and so it basically says that you can have a million of like millions of likers, but if they never actually come back to your page then it doesn't do anything for your business. They're not interacting, they're not buying what you're selling, so to speak. So how do you see how many people are coming back to your Facebook page? Well, that's that daily active users that they're talking about. So if you look here, it says that the uh, the daily active users are the top of the main dashboard. So this is the main dashboard. And so if you look here, you have three line charts. And this purple line says, on this day, there was that's a 30-day count. So uh, on this 30-day range ending on January 31st, there was 1,371 active users. The green line is the same data, but for a seven-day period. And then this is your daily active users. Like on Friday, January 28th, there were seven active users. So that's what that's talking about. The next thing is daily story feedback. So basically, this will tell you if what you're posting is actually... Um, uh, is actually insightful or people are actually engaging with your content if you have a lot of story feedback that means it's a good thing but people could be jumping off jumping ship or just ignoring it so it says that this information is found at the top of interactions so you just click this that interactions link and you're taking you see a new chart so whenever someone likes com or comments or unsubscribes on a piece of content that this page leaves it's recorded here so if you leave a status update and someone likes it it's recorded here or if they comment on it, it's recorded here so basically what you're looking for is trends you try to think of what did I do on this day where I got 22 likes what piece of content was that and so you, it, it shows down here um, some of the most popular impressions and feedbacks that you got and also if you saw there isn't one but here's an, here's an unsubscribe right here what did I post on this day that caught, let's say this was 100. What did I post on this day that made someone unsubscribe? That's basically what that's telling you. So the last thing we're going to look at is spikes and likes and unlikes. So to do that, you just click the users tab here. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to find this new likes. And you can see on days, you're looking for trends. Like, okay, why did it jump up seven here? Why did I have seven new likes? Why did I have people unsubscribe here? You're looking for trends. That's what that tells you.